everybody, Sean James here. Welcome back to the cabin. Um, I wanted to share some clips with you from the last month or so that I shot in Alaska and then when I got back here to Ontario to my cabin. Um, a lot of those were shot or all of those uh, clips were shot on my good camera and if you watched an episode about uh, probably about a month ago on my other channel Sean James I did a gear review with Mark Raycroft in the cabin here showing our camera gear that we're going to be using in Alaska. So that camera and that whole setup that I showed you was stolen out of my truck along with my wallet and my sunglasses earlier this week. It didn't happen at the cabin here so that's a good thing. Still got my security systems in check here but uh, visiting family and friends left my gear and my wallet and my sunglasses and some other things in the truck. Now fortunately they didn't steal everything that was in the truck otherwise I'd be I don't know, I'd be filming on a cell phone right now. Um, they just smashed and grabbed and that, those are the things I lost. My good camera, my good tripod. Um, that's mainly it. And then sunglasses and wallets. I've been replacing all the stuff for my wallet all week, which is a lot of fun. And uh, talking to the insurance company, trying to see if I'm going to get reimbursed uh, for any of those costs. It was expensive, over $10,000 worth of gear. So it's a pretty big financial hit. Um, I'm not going to let that get me down. It's a beautiful day here at the cabin. It's uh, been raining, so I've got all my buckets full of water. Garden's doing amazing. I've only actually watered it three times this year. And while I was gone for two weeks, we had real drought here. And uh, nothing happened to the garden. It still flourished. So happy about that. Happy about the water that I've got stored for the rest of this season. I'm getting, a, a getting far along on the porch, so hopefully I'll have that completely closed in in the next week or so. And today, one of my good friends is coming to visit. So one of the great things about social media and about this YouTube channel is that a lot of people that I've lost touch with over the years are discovering the channel, watching a video, realizing who it is they're watching, and then they're getting in touch with me. So one of those uh, friends that I haven't seen in, I don't know, we'll talk about it when it gets here shortly, probably 10, more than 10 years, probably, I'm thinking more like 15 years since I've seen him. And we were uh, quite good friends in our... 20s and I was actually his best man at his at his wedding so it'll be interesting to catch up with him and uh, he's actually bringing me some gifts some um, some uh, spoils of from his harvest earlier this spring which I really appreciate because I ran out of meat I just finished up the last of my venison from the deer from lot that I shot late last fall and uh, seasons hunting seasons haven't started again uh, this fall and you know, I've been eating fish and other stuff and all the stuff I've been getting from the grocery store, which I hate to do. So, thankful for what he's going to be bringing me today, and I'll show you what that is. And uh, I think what I'm going to also do is install one more security camera. Your company sent me um, this camera that's Wi-Fi enabled, or not, no, it's not Wi-Fi enabled, it's cellular enabled. And that means that I can set it up on the, down by where I parked the truck and that um, it'll capture an image and send it to me via cell whatever I don't know what that's called LTE I guess and it'll store those files then that way so if anybody one of the issues with a trail camera for security is that somebody finds the trail camera they just steal it you don't have the images with this spy point camera that I've got on the driveway that's been capturing lots of wildlife lately and this new camera or this camera that was sent to me a while ago that I'm finally setting up it actually because it's sending those those uh, images over cell signal, it's it's in the cloud, and then I have a copy of it. So even if the thief was to steal the camera, I still have record of who they are and, and when they came and all that kind of stuff. So I am going to set that up. I'm hoping I never need it, but it's just uh, this theft was just a reminder, just to be more diligent about my security, especially with the things that are happening. Uh, the reason I've been in town so much for the last really a uh, couple of weeks. It's only a couple of weeks, I guess that's it. And uh, just prior to Alaska is that I've been finishing up um, helping my wife get things done around the, the house, or her house that she's selling right now. And also the 
all my stuff that I still had there that I haven't brought up here. I've been selling, downsizing significantly all my gear, clothing, and uh, tools and all that stuff just to, just down to what I think I'm going to need from now on. So that's been a it's been a de-stressor, I would say, just lightening the load and uh, uh, minimizing, simplifying. So that's been fun. So <laughs> didn't really plan for my camera to be one of the uh, purges, but. Anyway, I need to replace that with something else so I can continue creating better quality film for you guys to watch. All right, so I'm going to uh, finish this cleaning up a little bit in the cabin, waiting for Jeremy, is his name, for him and his wife to show up. And I'll show them around the place. And uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be comfortable to be on camera or not, so you can meet them. Yeah, I'm sure we'll talk about old times, look at some old pictures and stuff. And, and uh, they're going to head back tonight so they're not staying over. And I can settle in and... and probably process what he's bringing me all right so i appreciate it i know the last couple of videos have been not at the cabin uh, i'm back here for the rest of the year now and i'll be putting out my more of my regular content i've got a lot of projects just to finish up before winter comes and, and other projects to get started so that's going to consume my time but i'll still be putting out the regular amount of videos i'm sure so part of um, like i said spending time with family over the last couple of weeks has been out uh, sp uh, going for walks at, with uh, my wife and, and visiting some uh, local waterways, beaches and stuff like that, little private places that nobody really knows about or they don't go to and uh, taking Cali for swims because it's been pretty warm and uh, summer's winding down, it's at least our hot, hot season, so less inclined to feel the necessity to go swimming quite as often. So and also, yeah, I went back to my sister's place and helped her my wife and I visited her actually, and uh, and my niece, and we had dinner there and went and helped her find a bull that she was having problems with. Her main bull is uh, lame, and he was trying to uh, hide out. She's trying to treat him, so we had to go and find him in this thick woods. And uh, yeah, we were able to do that anyway, so it was good. So yeah, just catching up on all my family time, and then September, kids are gone for good living in their uh, prospective uh, hometown or new hometowns I guess where they're going to, to uh, college university so they uh, next time they come to visit during holidays it'll be here so that should should be interesting and uh, yeah just enjoying the rest of the summer but uh, like I said it's pretty well winding down I have to get back at it so I'll be here uh, for good for next six well I don't have anything planned basically, any trips planned for the rest of the year. Oh, and next Friday, or next weekend actually, it's, I don't even know what, I think it's Saturday today, next weekend the guys are coming up to help finish up the uh, longhouse. We're going to work on getting all the bark put on the, the longhouse walls and roof and uh, start working on the inside making our beds and benches and stuff. So that's going to be fun. But other than that, I'm back at the cabin, <laughs> working on the cabin. A lot of people have... Uh, talked about what they or asked what the cabin smells like in here so you can obviously get the ambiance and visually and uh, audibly but obviously you can't smell through the tv at least yet so i wanted to just tell you quickly explain what it does smell like in here so obviously in the winter i'm doing all my cooking indoors so the majority of my cooking indoors on the the wood stove so the cabin being a small space smells like whatever i'm cooking um not only do i make like bacon eggs or oatmeal or whatever in the morning uh, so this smell is maple syrup if I'm having oatmeal a lot or pancakes or something but um, I always have some water simmering on the stove and often that's got a stock in it like a soup stock stock pot so those aromas are in the air almost all winter long and whatever I'm not cooking whenever I'm not cooking or even combined with that cooking smell is the smell of the fire of course now in the summer when it's warm, especially for an extended period, the cabin gets a musty smell. It doesn't have enough airflow in here and I kind of keep it all shut in so that I, it uh, doesn't absorb the heat from outside. So I'll keep the windows shut um, unless there's a nice breeze. I'll even put off the, you know, I'll close that front shutter and stuff so it does get a little bit damp in here. So I have these white sage bundles that I've had for quite a while. I've got a, quite a number of them. So I actually sold these, I don't know, eight years ago or something when I started my self-reliance. And uh, with the, these, I just 
wave light them and wave them around the cabin once every day or two and it actually makes the cabin smell like like uh, burnt sage which I, I love that smell so or I'll light candles uh, had a couple different candles that from different different companies that have sent them to me with different flavors so there's always something interesting to smell in the cabin here and then of course as soon as you step outside you get the whole smell of the forest which is also awesome or I have campfires going anyway thought you might be interested in that That was uh, Jeremy and his wife, and they just left. It's uh, getting on to be dinner time, and they operate a farm down in uh, kind of north uh, east of Toronto. So they have to get back and take care of the animals. But uh, so so much it was so nice. First of all, to to uh, see Jeremy again after all these years, and to to meet his wife, and uh, yeah, just catch up on old times. Not by far enough time, so we're gonna get together again for sure hopefully soon but uh, yeah it was awesome awesome to see see an old friend again um, so what he's brought me here which is amazing and I really really appreciate it is a bunch of bear meat from a bear he harvested this spring and all that fat that bear fat so I'll be rendering that uh, over the next couple of days and uh, cooking up some nice bear uh, meals bear fat is going to be awesome it's good for cooking so it's very clean and uh, it's been frozen since it since it was harvested so it'll be a good condition for actually eating so I can use that for frying and I can also use it for making the the uh, bombs and the creams that I make lotions and uh, yeah it's just a very very valuable resource I even use it for waterproofing like uh, leather my leather boots and gloves and hats and stuff like that and uh, also yeah <laughs> forgot um, turkey that he shot and I think his, sh his son shot the other one I didn't get out turkey hunting this year and uh, well, obviously then wasn't able to harvest one so I've been looking for feathers and I do need to put more effort into getting out this fall or spring or next spring to, to start harvesting turkeys again myself wild turkeys but anyway it's so nice of him to keep the feathers from the birds for me especially these wing feathers which I can use for fletching for my arrows so thanks Jeremy if you're watching this video I really appreciate it, it was awesome seeing you again I can't wait to put all this stuff to good use so I'm going to spend the next uh, couple hours getting all this stuff put away I'll probably cook the well it's still frozen so I'll have to let it thaw out a little bit I'll get uh, everything else put put uh, back into storage and deal with that tomorrow or the following day so I'm going to shut this video down. I appreciate everybody watching. And, and like I said, thanks for being patient watching the videos over the last uh, little while about Alaska, not about the cabin. I'll be back to my normal videos uh, starting basically now and starting next Friday. I'll be back to working on the cabin here. And uh, yeah, getting ready for fall. Summer is starting to wind down and cooler nights and, and not as much intense heat during the day. So I can see an end to the summer in sight. Lots of decent weather ahead, but nothing scorching, so a lot more comfortable for working out here in the forest. So thanks for watching, thanks for following along, and I'll see you up at the cabin next time. Take care.
Thank you.